next let's look at contacts this is the area where you will create all your customers and all your vendors in order to add a contact manually simply click on add contact you can key in the name you can key in the sequence format now if you wish to maintain a different sequence format for your vendors you can click on custom number format and add a prefix let's say p for vendor add a separator let's have four digits you can add a suffix as well let's click on save you can choose the sequence format at the time of creating the contact you can key in the email address pan number under accounting you need to key in the payment terms that is the credit term that you allow and a gst treatment type so depending on whether the contact is a regular unregistered consumer or scz you can select this let's select registered for now we'll key in the gst in the customer type and the vendor type depending on whether you are creating a customer or a vendor if tds is also applicable on this particular contact so in the case of supplier if tds is applicable you need to check mark this key in the tan number the direct type if the any other settings that you require that is non deduction or lower deduction you can also key in these details let's go to addresses you can specify the address postal code and you can save the contact so this is how you can manually add contacts if you also have multiple contacts let's say you have 3 or 400 suppliers and 4 or 500 customers you can also import them directly using an excel format simply click on import download the sample file and start importing Let's see how this can be done. Let's open up the sample file. So this is the sample file for contacts. You will notice most of the fields are the same that we have seen on the contact form. Simply need to populate this based on the details for your customers and suppliers. The sequence code, contact name, currency, email ID, the various receivable and payable accounts, the GST and taxation types, address details, etc. once this is done you can save this and now we can import this file let's see how we can do that let's go back to the product let me upload this file let me select this i'll click on next you again get the option for mapping the field in the excel to the desk graph fields so in case you have a file that has different headers from what the headers are in desk graph you can always map them if this is okay you click on next now you can choose whether you want to only add new records or you want to update existing records or both so this will basically update any details with the existing records you can choose the behavior in case of duplicates you can reject or import the duplicate rows in case of invalid values you can define whether you want to reject the entire row reject the invalid value or add the value in drop down in case there are any errors or any mistakes they are highlighted over here you can also correct them from here if this is okay you can click on submit once you click on submit the import process starts this is done you will notice all the contacts that were there in the excel file have been populated over here so this way you can quickly either create a contact manually or import all the contacts from an excel file